What's going on, family, friends, YouTube family and friends, should I say? I'm back real quick to just speak on this little situation. What in the motherfucking monkeypox is going on? They claim it is because of us gay men. So we're going to chat about that shit here in a minute. Y'all ready? Let's go. It's the AJ Red Show. Starring me, AJ Red. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Now let's get into it. What's going on? What's going on, YouTube friends and family? It's your boy, AJ Red. I'm back again with another video. This time, I want to talk about something a little different. Where, as you can see, a whole lot fucking different. Some shit we ain't even used to, in a sense, right? So anyway, before I go ahead and get, get started with this video, I need you guys to go ahead and click that bell. Um, so that you'll get these notifications when these videos are coming out, right? See me the first one to see him. He said, I've seen, I seen AJ Red's video already, bitch. What you, what you mean? So, but anyway, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos. All right, after saying that, I'm not going to be very long. Let me jump right into the video. So, me personally, I'm still saying what the motherfucking monkeypox is going on. <clears throat> now, I will say I heard about the monkeypox virus maybe in the beginning of 2022, somewhere about there. Um, there was a case, I think, of a man in Dallas, a woman in Colleen, Texas, um, that had gone on a trip to Africa and had come back and had like a severe case of this shit and was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on with them. Now, of course, y'all know how the news is. They told us, oh, don't worry. I don't even think about that. This shit ain't really all that contagious. We got it under control. There will not be an outbreak of the monkeypox, okay? That's what they told us. That's what the fuck they told us. But look at this shit again. Real quick, it got quiet for a minute, then all of a sudden, bam, the monkeypox. And not only that, me personally, again, I'm in the healthcare field, and so these things come to me, especially when they hit the CDC and all this shit, they come to me kind of like direct or handed down from uh, chain to chain um, to me. So, uh, let me give you a little bit of the education that I know so far about monkeypox. So, so far in, at my job, we were briefed on basically, you know, it's skin to skin contact. Um, a person can be exposed and not show any signs for up to three weeks at max. Um, it, in, uh, it has like uh, symptoms of fever. Um, what was it? Symptoms of fever, headaches, muscle aches, back aches, rashes swollen lymph nodes, chills, uh, exhaustion. So it's a lot of shit going on that leads up to this. And they also come up from what I, my understanding is, they come up just like this in these little watery, pus-like, uh, fluid-filled uh, bumps. And these bumps can burst. So, but the whole factor is, I think it's kind of the point for them to burst because that way they heal over and scab. So that way they're not as infectious um, as they would be um, when they're like this and they're probably even more contagious once they burst because you know um, Those secretions and all that shit get in different places. So God forbid if you catch this, please reach out to your local physician Take your ass down to the CDC take your ass to the hospital and let them look at you for the monkeypox now uh, and, and any treatment that is available. I will say I'm here in, in Texas um, There is no vaccine available here currently because there's not in, enough cases there's only about 16 cases that are here um, where I'm located. So, but uh, we were told that, <clears throat> excuse me, the bigger portion of this is like upstate, like New York, most places like that. So they have the vaccine there are readily available for them because they have the biggest fucking outbreak. And of course, the shit trickles up there from one type of the part of the states and, and come on down. Um, so, but... Uh, there is a vaccine for, but it's not available where I'm located. So I don't know how the fuck they're working. That we'll watch the news, or if you watch the news, you'll find out. Keep up with the CDC. Check it. I check it daily, uh, at least uh, every other day to see what the fuck's going on. Because ever since COVID came about, a bitch can't afford to be in the dark. I need to know what the fuck's going on. So, my biggest, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. My biggest um, problem with the monkeypox is, for one, it's here. For one, it's fucking with the people. For one, it's called, it causes like sores you never believe. It hurts. It's painful. I'm told it's worse than shingles. 
Um, me personally, I see it as like a version of the chicken pox because growing up, I've had chicken pox before. And what, what, and what in the fuck the world is coming to these days? You got chicken pox, you got bird flu, you got mad cow disease, you got <clears throat> the bats giving you COVID, you got the dogs giving you rabies. What the fuck is going on with the animals down here on the earth these days? And I know you can't eat no dog or no bat, but I'm saying that you can't eat cow because he mad. You can't fuck with the birds that they got the flu. You can't fuck with the chicken like talking about because they got the pox. And now the monkey got the pox? Bitch, I can't even go to a zoo now and look at a monkey the same way anymore. And now that I'm looking back on it, I don't know if Henrietta, uh, Henrietta the chicken is going to get my attention anymore. But it's just crazy to me that all these fucking different uh, diseases, diseases and shit are, are just trickling down on the U.S., on different states and all this other shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I need to know. I don't know what's going on, but I need to be in the in the knowing. And I've been keeping my ear to the ground and my eyes uh, on the prize and my mouth on the news, uh, trying to see what the fuck's going on. But there was a part of this, if you all have watched, of course, LGBTQ community. I'm, I am a part of that community. I'm not even going to say I'm sorry. I'm a part of that community. And... I think very highly of us, and it struck a nerve in me sort of a little bit when it came out with the bullshit saying, oh, you know, the monkey pox is here now, and take a look out and watch out now. The New York Times is even talking about now saying, look out for the gay men. Um, you know, it's most found in men that have sex with other men. It's where it's commonly found. Now, wait a fucking minute. Y'all told me a woman had this shit first. And then also then a man had it and they all said it came from Africa when they went over and I guess didn't have the proper fucking vaccines to be around there wrestling, high-fiving the monkey. Now, I don't understand how the fuck all of a sudden this happens. Michael and Bubbles lived together for years. Years. And Michael ain't never come up and say he caught no fucking monkey pox. So what the fuck is going on down to the CDC and over there at the zoo? And what the fuck are they putting in the monkey water over there in, 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 uh, in uh, Africa. I just don't understand. But so now y'all gonna come with some shit now like y'all did with the AIDS and all this other shit and make a pandemic now. The last pandemic, the, you know, the, 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 the COVID shit, they claimed the Asians took the biggest hit when they was getting dipped in the face and knocked in the fucking nose and slapped upside the head just sitting on bus stops and shit because people were actually accusing them or giving them the uh, credit for COVID being spread over here to the U.S., Therefore, putting us on lockdown, getting us sick, losing lots of loved ones in the process, and losing some body, fun body functions as for some of them who have uh, actually caught COVID. But again, this monkeypox, I do not understand. I'm going to do some more reading. I'm going to, you know, see what I can pick up at work. But in the meanwhile, I'm pretty motherfucking sure my research is not going to come up and say that, um, oh, yeah, uh, it's more commonly found in gay males, MSM, you know, male to male sexual contact. Bitch, when I was told it was it was the contact of it all because I asked the questions and I did read the material, the literature that I was given uh, over there at my good paying job. And it stated that, bitch, it's by skin to skin contact. Now, it's a neurological disease that attacks the neurological system. Therefore, kind of like chicken pox again, if you're not vaccinated against it, which probably half of us fucking aren't because we never even encountered some retarded ass shit like the uh, uh, fucking monkey pox. So, but anyway, it can attack that system, cause some shit to go wacky and all that different shit, therefore causing these lesions, sometimes looking like herpes or shit like that. But to me, it reminds me of chicken pox. But don't go start no fucking rumors. I'm here, I'm here to speak for the LGBTQ uh, community. I've seen some other advocates that spoke out on the news, on CNN, some other platforms and stated you know, cut the fuckery. Don't be putting us up in this bullshit saying that, you know, gay males are the reason for the, the, the monkey pox spreading. Because let me tell y'all something. I'm not a violent person, but don't come fucking get around me getting no attitude to my, oh, because he's gay. He got, he has the monkey pox. Don't touch me. I'll slap the fuck out you because at the end of the day, that's ignorant as fuck. You know, good and goddamn well, if you, read, if you, if you are willing to take your stupid ass up in the club and jump up and down all fucking night long and do your thing and get drunk, when you know the COVID is out there just from breathing around a bitch, whether they gay, straight, heterosexual, lesbian, or whatever the fuck they are, bitches out there. And the bottom line is, no matter who you rub up against, while you out there at them summer events, you know, um, putting your 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 um, 
sunscreen on, your little half naked ass bathing suit, and for the fellas, you know, the, uh, the, the bottles with no tops, your speedos, your trunks, whatever the fuck y'all went to the beach, down up in the club trying to show off your new unpaid for Gucci, a Prada, a Fendi bag, and your shoes and your whole new look for the week, and you just got paid to go out there and show the people in the first place. This is for you motherfuckers that's sitting up there actually believing this crazy ass bullshit that it's male to male, uh, gay male to male contact and it's the gay man that's carrying this shit around. I say like the man said on the news, bitch don't get out there starting the rumors because that is how the AIDS pandemic rumors got started. Saying it was just gay males that had the issue. When you look now around, uh, years later, decades later, you see all these motherfuckers, every human being that fucks, you know, uh, that has, um, Bodily fluids come in contact with one another that are not safe and that are already infected. Bitch, it's happening to all of you. Not not, not y'all. I'm not saying y'all. But I'm saying those naysayers that is coming with this bullshit about, you know, it, it basically is spread over race. It's spread over uh, gender and all this other shit. So, again, like, just like death has no respect to person, these motherfucking diseases have no respect to person. So don't sit up here and put a fucking filter or put a fucking... Uh, 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 a hex or some fucking vi po uh, negative vibe over the gay community saying that we're responsible for some fucking uh, monkey pox. Bitch, we didn't, we didn't invent chicken pox. Look at your federal government. Maybe you might want to take a look at them and talk to them and see what they have going on as to why some of these diseases are on the outbreak. Whether I don't know if they're causing these motherfuckers. That's my own personal opinion. I don't know. I don't know if it's a sign of the time. I don't know if it's the apocalypse or whatever, but I can assure you this. I'm pretty motherfucking sure it does not come by no bull, stupid ass shit like uh, he gay out. Bitch, please. Jesus, I want you around me anyway because I'm not finna come out there rubbing up in no fucking club up against nobody, nam bodies, uh, you know, to fuck around and come up with the herpes or the monkey pox or whatever y'all got going on out there. Y'all can live your life, have your fun, bitch, but when you're suffering up in a hospital like I've seen some of these folks doing right now with the goddamn monkey pox, Sitting up there looking like, oh, I can't even say like Bubba because bitch, he ain't come up with no bullshit like that. But I just want to get on here and speak for the LGBT uh, community and myself and say, cut the shit. Cut the sweet baby back rib shit. Sweet baby back bullshit. More like it. Cut the shit. And for y'all that are in the LGBT community, LGBTQ community, so many letters shit. I wasn't on the committee when we made these letters up. I wasn't on the committee. But uh, I respect the game. But the bottom line is, sit down and shut the fuck up. If anything you want to do is take cover and stay your ass at your house and make sure you're not rubbing elbows with the wrong likes or the wrong people and getting something that can... That can and also, one of the factors is less than 1% of, of, of people have died from this shit. So it's not even detrimental. Guaranteed, I'm pretty sure it's very motherfucking uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure it's not the, the, the most fulfilling thing. It's not the most expensive. And to have the motherfucking lesions or bumps on your fucking body, bitch, I had chicken pox as a child. And I'm not sure if those, those, those marks, when they burst and they crust over, if they are like chicken pox and they actually leave maybe little circles or dots or little bruises, I'm not sure. I have not gotten that far yet in the research. I have not seen anybody that actually had it and what the outcome was. But the bottom line is, bitch, shut it down. I'm here to put it into that motherfucking rumor. Gay men are not carrying no chicken pox. Just like they sit there and said, at first they were trying to say gay men were the ones getting off COVID, bitch. Most of us sat around free and fine in our motherfucking house because we know how to protect our energy. We ain't running around doing this, that, and the third. We, some of us are grounded as fuck, and we ain't worried about being up in your clubs, jumping up and down, paying you $20, $30, $40 to come in there and go through your motherfucking door. And to drink your fucking booze. Bitch, I realized, like my grandmother used to tell me, bitch, spend that 20 30 on you a bottle. Take your ugly ass down to the house, drink your shit, smoke your shit, do your thing at your fucking house, and have the best of time, bitch. Get you a disco ball light uh, and put that bitch in the corner. Get you a lava lamp. Put that, however you like to celebrate, whatever your era is, go buy that shit and bring it to you. Because you're already paying a dough fee over there at your fucking house. So why you going over there and pay somebody else motherfucking rent? Sit your fucking ass at home. Sit your ugly ass at home. <laughs> Stay your fucking ass home. Learn more about yourself. Other than you might get chicken pox, I mean, uh, monkey pox. Or uh, the COVID because that shit is on the rise again as well. The Omicron dual something virus or some shit. Bitch, I'm sitting at home. Fuck that. 
I don't want no COVID. I don't want no motherfucking monkeypox. You feel me? Yeah, you do. And if you got any kind of motherfucking sense, you take yourself out the house and bubble wrap, bitch. Listen, if I want to eat from a restaurant, and maybe if I decide to, because again, it's skin to skin contact, but bitch, I don't want nobody to prepare no food for me like they said about the gays. You know, you got a situation or whatever's going on with your life. So I may or may not feel a certain way about it. But I can honestly tell you this, you can shut that shit down. Give that a rest, turn that over to the guards. Uh, you know, the best you can do is protect yourself and it's not against us. Real shit. So, uh, again, like I said, I wasn't going to be taking long getting on here to make that, 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 that announcement, to speak that message, because it, to me, it just shows how fucking ignorance have grown. People are just fucking ignorant. They're so fucking ignorant, they're willing to believe what somebody tells them versus taking a chance on using their fucking eyes and their own mind and going to read some shit and getting a better understanding of what the fuck the situation is or what the situation derived from. they rather just sit around with their fucking stupid wig caps on or too busy shopping in stores and went, oh, what you said, girl, you got what? The hearsayers. Because the naysayers take the shit and then the hearsayers get it and then the shit circulates back around and then there's some population or some group that's going to suffer, uh, suffer from it. But I'm here to tell you that the LGBT community will not be suffering from this. We will not take the blame on this shit. Look to your local officials. Hell, look to your heterosexual community. Not to divide anybody because I don't, I'm not here for division, but at the end of the day, if you're going to turn to somebody, turn to everybody. Basically, turn to the human race. But don't come down here fucking with us over here the thing we were we all wrapped up in rainbow blankets and rainbow of uh, 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 flags and shit and we out here you know doing our thing with lollipopping and whatnot and chilling and working out and trying to be our best selves with, with all the bullshit that's going on we actually dealing with the same goofy ass bullshit y'all dealing with too in the same motherfucking world so why can't we all just come together as a common people and support as my old pastor say one another because I'm in, I'm in full support of good health, good wealth for anyone. But I'm just letting y'all know, we ain't put this shit out here. Ain't no gay fan to get up on, on, on YouTube or on no platform and sit up and take responsibility for this ignorant ass retarded uh, bullshit. Because like I said before, bitch, I've been eating chicken a long time. I've been going to zoos all my life. And not, not one time I have seen a monkey at a zoo. And not saying I went up there and high five that motherfucker because I don't trust monkeys like that. They are wild animals, and that's where they belong in the wild. Not up under me, trying to train them how to be a fucking human. If that was their fate, they would have already had that. So with that, I sit the fuck down, stay in my place. I found my lane, and I'm picking up speed every motherfucking day. So I suggest you all do the same. Don't 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 let anybody put y'all down with this bullshit. We gonna rise as a black nation, as a gay nation, as a nation nation, whatever. But as far as coming off of this shit, we got we have the power now to to come and catch y'all in the middle of these lies with platforms like mine, platforms like some of the other uh, podcasters that are uh, included in the community or that are for the community. We are not sitting around now and just uh, allowing y'all to just put bullshit out there and lies on us and making us look bad because like I told you, you slap me upside my motherfucking head. All I can tell you, reserve a motherfucking cell for me down to the prison and reserve yourself a plot. Because I keep my hands to myself and my thoughts. And I don't give a fuck what a human being uh, has going on. They're still a human being. It's just a situation that they happen to come across. Now, the question is, are you going to be mature enough to help them through it? Or just sometimes step the fuck back and just get the fuck out the way? Because everybody going to need you, especially if you're not going to be in it to help the fuck. So that's all I had to say about it. Uh, don't get out there fucking playing with us. The LGBTQ community hollering about we the ones spread no fucking monkeypox, especially us for the men, because y'all always acceptable of the, the female community when it comes to the gays. But y'all think men are just so contagious and so nasty and disgusting and carry so much disease. Bitch, please. We're cleaner than some of y'all mothers. We're cleaner than some of y'all wives. Some of the women you sleep with. And that's no shout, you know, no, no shot to any female at all because I have, again, plenty of sisters and females in my life and, and that I uh, revere, I trust, 
and I have nothing but their backs and mostly good things to say about them. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go and get the fuck out of here and y'all let that sink in. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, hit that little bell to make sure y'all get these videos when I upload them so you'll keep up with me and what's going on in my head, my world, and all this other shit, and the world, because I told you I'm getting deeper into this situation. All right? So <clears throat> share with somebody you like. Share with somebody you don't like. Share with somebody you know. Share with a motherfucker you don't know. Because if you don't like me, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure someone else will. Right? Okay. Yeah, I'm right. So anyway, I'm out of here. Love yourself. Uh, love on somebody else, but only if they're willing to love on you in the same manner. All right? All right, so y'all take care of yourselves. Until the next time, later. Your boy, AJ Red, out.